Really quickly vacuum, it's filled with dust back there. Yeah, center it for me first, and then I'll play with it. I was definitely anticipating bigger. <laughs> but she's cute there, isn't she? We can still take pictures. Just in the back. No, no, no. <gasps> Got a plan. What if I do this? This here. That kind of looks nice, doesn't it? It's going to be in all your pictures. Yeah, I don't mind that. Okay. okay. Well, I don't know. I kind of like that there. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today is family day. We are hosting my family over at our house today instead of going over there. And I've already started the roast. I did film little bits of that. And we also got a new mirror, which I just filmed, but everything was happening literally before I could get an intro filmed. So this vlog is kind of gonna be like out of order, essentially, is what has happened so far. Out of order. But I really like the mirror. I started laughing though, because I thought the mirror was much larger than it is or was. Larry's throwing styrofoam around. Um, but I still think it looks cute. Uh, so I moved the plant over, put a mirror in that space, moved the white chair that was there into my office. And that's kind of what we're looking at yet yeah, now, but yeah, what am I saying? <laughs> but I did think that that was going to take up that whole space, not a small space, but it works with the plant next to it. Um, but anyways, yeah, today's going to be a fun day. Like I said, we're going to do family day and see what everybody's getting up to. I know that's one of your favorite videos is family day vlogs. So they should be here soon. It's going on one o'clock. They're due to be here around one, but most likely they will not, will not be here around one. There goes Larry. Don't trip. <laughs> but before... We get started with this video. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Native. Now you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Native deodorants. I have a few of them here. This is the sugar cookie, which is currently my favorite scent, but we are here to talk today about their body washes, which are incredible. I have two to share with you, coconut and vanilla, which is a staple for me. I love the scent of this, it's classic. And also this one, which is the Lavender Rose, which I use in the bath. So this is kind of like my everyday shower. This is more of like, I'm taking a luxurious, calming lavender and rose bath. <laughs> but they have many scents to choose from. One of the most important things to me with a body wash is does it lather, get like nice and soapy where I feel like I'm getting clean, but also keep my skin moisturized. And these do, so that's perfect. You guys know I've been using Native for a very long time. They are made with ingredients that you can pronounce that shows you the ingredient list right on the back. The products are sulfate-free, paraben-free, dye-free, and phthalate-free as well, which is lovely. Native have just released their candy shop collection, which I'm waiting for my items. I'm so excited for them to arrive. Every time they come out with seasonal scents, like the Christmas holiday scents, I get really excited and I've been lucky enough to try them. But now they are releasing candy scents, which I'm gonna read them for you guys. We have gummy bears, sweet cinnamon hearts, sour berry belts, and strawberry and vanilla taffy. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Besides the body washes, Native also have deodorants, they have toothpaste, they have body moisturizers. Three body washes are normally $27, but if you use my code MindyM11, you can get them for $17. That's 40% off, guys. If you would like to try them, definitely don't miss out on the deal. And with my code, you can also get 20% off deodorant and body lotion. And again, Native, thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Okay, guys, the mirror setup. Do we like this here? I love it. Also, it's a cute, uh, what you call it? Like a photo, photo op 
station, I guess you could say. That is honestly why I got it. I know, hilarious, very funny. Also love the arch. It is from Home Depot. Hello, Larry. So yeah, let me know. Do you guys like the mirror here? Is, uh, the current state obviously it's still very very raw so in here I have a ton of vegetables and I realized I don't have any room to put the potatoes in usually my dad always does it all in one with potatoes I don't know if his crock pot is bigger than mine or what is happening here but uh, we're gonna need to do potatoes separately so what I'm actually gonna do is do oven roasted potatoes which I think sounds amazing and I also purchased a French baguette here. It's really big, like super big. And I'm gonna bake that in the oven. But for the moment, right now what I need to do is wash puddles, puddles, bottles and boob pump stuff. I gotta get that done. So let me get that out of the way. And then we need to make a veggie tray as well. So we're gonna do that. I feel very scattered. I feel like I have so much to do today and I'm just like, ha, 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 ha. you know when you have a lot to do and you're like, whoo, 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 you have the energy, thank goodness. Cause I was talking to you guys over on Instagram. I was like, I am just lacking the motivation. Sorry for the wobbly. I'm trying to talk to you guys and do this, but I just feel like it's been a struggle. And somebody had said to me, when motivation is lacking, oh, I forget the quote. It was such it was such a good thing. That's where something else kicks in, like discipline. Discipline kicks in. And yes, that's exactly how I'm living life right now. It's like, right, I'm not motivated, but the discipline in me is kicking in and I know I need to do this, 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 get this stuff done. <sighs> Anyways, I'm hoping my mojo comes back. <laughs> uh, today feels better. I don't... Oh my gosh. And I got, I have to, before we start into family day, I have to tell you guys about the weirdest dream I've had. I've had three versions of these dreams lately where I am in a vehicle and we are in a car crash. Like I'm either falling off of a cliff. I had a dream a couple months ago. We were, I was with Larry. We were in Ireland. We were driving a vehicle. Larry was driving. I was in the passenger. Also every single one of these dreams, I am the passenger. I'm not driving the vehicle. So, and a, another thing is I, I'm usually driving because I get car sick. I'm prone to it. So, but anyways, in the dream, we're in Ireland. Larry and I were driving. The road suddenly ends. We're going through a field. And I mean, we are going off a cliff, like the biggest cliff you would ever see. Something that you would literally see in Ireland or in the Game of Thrones movies. And I'm like, oh my God, we're going to die. Like, they're so vivid and real. So last night, my dream, my mom and I, we're in Colorado, we're driving around and I was, it was cold, it was wet, the weather was miserable. And we rented a car, it was actually a minivan. We rented a minivan and I was like, right mom, if you want, I'll drive when we get up to the mountains because my mom's like not as comfortable with driving and stuff like that. She drives, she's a great driver, but if she doesn't have to, she doesn't want to. So I was like, right, when we get into the mountains, I'll take over. So mom and I are on this highway. Suddenly the GPS says, exit now so mom tries to exit there's this big building here the curve goes this way to exit and then there's literally a big bridge with a drop off what is with this i don't know so she tries to go we miss it 
All I'm seeing is our car leaping towards the building. We're going past the building. We are flying off this bridge that is so high and it's above icy cold water. And I'm like, oh my God. So we're flying, the car is flying. And I remember grabbing my mom's hand when we were driving, I was the passenger and I was like, just try to relax, try to relax your muscles. Just try to stay calm so that you're not tensing and freaking out when you impact. <sighs> the next thing I know, I felt the impact, but then like the dream quickly transferred and that's when paramedics were there loading me onto a backboard stretcher. My mom was already loaded into a ambulance on her way and then I was on my way and I get to the hospital and nobody would tell us what had happened. And then I overheard the staff talking and they were like, it is absolutely insane that they're alive. They flew off of this bridge. The bridge was supposed to have a sensor that if the sensor goes off, it alerts paramedics that somebody had gone off the bridge. The sensors didn't work. We flew off the bridge and we were underwater for 10 minutes and somehow lived. <laughs> that was my dream. Very realistic. It was crazy. We didn't die in the dream. We made it, but um, I was telling Larry, I was like, God, these these dreams and I was talking to my mom and she's like, is there something that you're nervous about? Is something going on that's triggering the dreams? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Anyways, if you're like a dream whisperer or you know a lot about dreams, why do I keep having dreams where I am in car crashes and I am flying off of cliffs and bridges and falling to my death, but yet I don't die. I still somehow survive. Except that one Larry and I went off of, we died. Like it was, we, we did die. We go. And it's so like, I, and then I feel like, right, I just wasted a restful sleep because your brain is so actively like charged. When you wake up, you feel all this adrenaline and upset. I'm like, right, I didn't even rest. Anyways, enough about the dream. Very vivid. If you guys have vivid dreams like that, let me know. I hope I'm not alone in having like the most crazy intense dreams ever. But, oh. <sighs> Ah, okay guys, this one just woke up from a nap. Say hello, say hello. And I have just finished doing the veggie tray and chips and dip and stuff like that. Larry has been running around picking up things in the house and the roast is going strong. It is beginning to look like it is cooking. So that is a plus. Can you see yourself? Who's that? Who's that? Mwah. For the veggie tray, we have celery, some peppers, different kinds of carrots, and then we have a combination dip. It's the French onion dip mixed with sour cream. Usually we add blue cheese, but I didn't have any. That was a big oops. Tortilla chips that my dad made, and then some pretzels, and our roast is going strong back there. Oh, yeah. He woke up from his nap, so the sides didn't matter anymore, but he was napping. I was. Yeah, I told him it's his party today. He's probably sleeping on the side of his cheek right there. Yeah, his, his, it's his baptism party. It's your party. I'm filming, by the way. Really? Yes, yeah, say hi. Camera. Oh. Hi. Oh, Do you notice the changes? Too. Yeah, your curtains are beautiful. You did notice the curtains? You. And this is different too. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's happened? Do I need to put this up to get the smile? Yeah, I got my smile. 
Hey, again, my smile. This is Grandma. Grandpa, if you want, you can have a seat in that recliner chair there or that chair there, and I can get you a coffee. Coffee? What do you do there? I'll get you one. So I have your pick at the, the cushy recliner or right there, so that way you have a table that you can set your coffee on, and I'll get it for you. How you guys doing? Yeah, better now that we finally got here. Yeah. You what, Dad? I did not bring the sauce. <laughs> That's okay, because I was supposed to remind you. We but not, we were supposed to have a conversation with each other today. Yeah, that we just did morning. not have time for that. It's just it, the day got away from us. How's the veggie tray look? Fabulous and colorful. That's right. What's that, rutabaga? That's actually, um, that's a purple carrot. It's purple on the inside. It's yellow on the outside. It's multicolored carrot. Oh. Yeah. Never seen it before. Try it. Does it taste any different from a regular it carrot? It tastes like a carrot. Yeah, exactly. So, there's also carrot. yellow carrots. Oh, the yellow carrots are in there. You don't like it? <laughs> Dad doesn't like it. Different. Yeah, it's a healthy carrot. <laughs> Not that it's orange better. carrots aren't healthy, but. It's bitter. Different. I'm making grandpa a plate. Very good, I gotta make gramps a coffee. Oh yeah, he needs coffee. I did find it. Hello, babe. Hello. Coming to see these cuties. Hello, cuties. Say hi, Ma. Hi. He's smiling under the binky. Look at those red cheeks. Oh. <laughs> They've been red since I got here. Yeah. Red cheekies. So dinner is just about done. Here is the meat. The veggies. And in the oven, we have a loaf of bread. And the pota- oh my. And the potatoes. It's all steamy. <laughs> Eating dinner. All done. It's delicious. Yeah, well, we don't know if it's delicious yet because we haven't eaten no, it. Nice. Jimmy has snacked on it. He said it's good. So we got Jimmy's approval. What did you taste test? The potatoes. Potatoes. I roasted them in the oven. Oh, that's cute. Mushroom. Yeah, a viewer made that for us. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Yeah. I have two more that she made in the garden office. It's really cute. I have a lot more decorating on here to do. But I need to get these little triangle things. To support this, these are supposed to be hanging wall shelves, but literally they're not supposed to hang like that, and they're hanging. <laughs> like those two on top are perfect, but the larger size, they're both pulling out of the wall, which they shouldn't be. Metal bracket, you can secure that. Mm -hmm. okay. You know what I mean? The kind that. Yeah, that's what I was doing when I was rocking you to sleep, and I was good at long enough to stay down, and then I put my hand and hit the train to that hole. Mm -hmm. right? You shake your waist, mother. Oh, no. <laughs> and I, I was with her two nights before. Oh, so yeah, I don't know. Like, we put a different, we put a different one in the house. Uh, Lexi, yes. I brought two. What are you doing? What are you doing? You you're trying to eat Mama's food. I know, I know what you're doing. You should put it away. Uh -uh. Lexi, <laughs> you are not going to hop up on the back of everybody's chair. Come here, Lexi. To try and sneak a bite. Why do you have to have everything when you steal mine? Exactly. Let me hang out with her. Let me hang out with her. What do you want? Oh, I see it's me and you against the world, baby. <laughs> you weren't supposed to sit there. And a butter knife. That was not supposed to be yours. Dad's got it short for it. He's having a complex. That's the butter knife for the butter. Is this longer than yours? Because I like the short ones. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy turned so everything inappropriate. Oh God! I'm talking forks. We're talking about forks, Jimmy. I don't know where your mind is. So funny. Guess what we watched yesterday? You already know. Oh, my child! My baby! I didn't hear the Well, he should be in here. He knows it's dinner time. He probably smells the food. They both just sprinted. Oh! Did you eat some horseradish? I said it was fresh. <coughs> Did you miss that note? The horseradish is fresh. I just bought it. That is the Look at this horseradish here. in a jar I've ever had. I know, isn't it great? Oh, yeah. Andy, can you pass the butter, please? Yeah. Are... <laughs> I know what you do. You're silly. Carrot cake time. Oh, doesn't it look good? 